The inaugural Sullivan Cup was held recently where Army tankers from all over the world gathered on Fort Benning to compete in a competition designed to test the armor tank crews on their versatility, both in the tank and on the changing battlefield. From old school track repair to high tech simulations, the tankers were put through the ringer as they vied for the coveted title of best tank crew in the Army. The Fort Benning TV crew was out in force to give you complete coverage of the Sullivan Cup events, some VIPs, and of course, the winners. The Sullivan Cup started out like most Army events, with a PT test. But this APFT was an individual. The entire team's score was averaged into their total for the competition. These guys out here are blowing it out of the water. I mean, we have guys that are coming in with a four-man crew average of, of high 290s into the 300s. The Army has changed a lot in the last 10 years, and the Armor Force has changed a lot in the last 10 years, and that's why we thought this was an important part of this competition. After an exhausting morning, they head to the maintenance challenge, which included breaking up a piece of tank track and putting it back together as fast and accurate as possible something only quick thinking, knowledge, and teamwork would help with. Teamwork's the big thing. Uh, kind of having a technique, ensuring everybody understands their job and role. You know, your track's going to take you where you need to go. So if something happens to that track, you need to be able to, to break that track, attach a new section of track, and get your track back together, and that, that vehicle moving as fast as possible. They move on to the gunnery skills competition, where their basic knowledge of cleaning and maintaining tank guns will hopefully keep them ahead of the game. From the main gun to the 50 cal to the 240, it's about being able to assemble or disassemble, assemble, uh, properly load, clear, and perform uh, actions on a gun if it's malfunctioning. Uh, they have to prove they can do that in order to shoot live rounds. That's why that's one of our most important skills as tankers. The Sullivan Cup is important to the competitors and to the Army. But what does it mean to the prestigious man that it was named after? What's important to me is what it's doing to the Army. What it's doing to the Armor Force and uh, what it means for the Army. That's really what's important to me. As the competition progresses, we'll see what it means to each team as they advance further into the week. They still have simulations, live fire, and other strenuous events ahead of them as they advance to day two of the first inaugural Sullivan Cup.